right, yo, what's going on, my producer friends? It is your boy Q. We're back at it again with another video of Q Timber. Mm -hmm. If you guys don't know what Q Timber is, I will be uploading 30 videos in 30 days, the whole month of September. Mm -hmm. And we're back again with episode seven. If you guys don't want to miss an episode, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And right next to that mm -hmm. button, there is a post notifications. So every time I upload, you'll be notified when that post goes live. But yeah, well, we're talking about social medias. Mm -hmm. If you guys could do me a favor and head down to the description below, hit that Instagram link and follow me on there. Just because mm -hmm. it's the best way for you guys to stay up to date with what I'm doing. And I also post a lot of just different announcements and stuff like that before you'll see it on YouTube. Also, we got a bunch of YouTube events going on in my Discord server. So if you guys want to be a part of that, if you want to be a part of the videos, hit the link down in the description below. It's always down there. It's also usually in the pinned comment. So if you want to join, you could also just come talk in the community. But yeah, let's get into this video. Today we're going to be making a rage type beat. I don't even know who for. Trippy Red maybe, Yeet maybe. Can can. I don't really know what I'm gonna title this yet, but basically I made this loop and I just wanted to make some like crazy drums behind it. So we're gonna jump into FL Studio. We're gonna pull up that loop. I'm gonna break it down a little bit and then we're gonna add some drums on top of it. So let's do it. All right, so as you can see, we have FL Studio pulled up right here, a completely blank one. And what we're gonna do is go into my loops folder. Let me go to my name. And we have this loop right here called Laser Beam. So we're gonna drag this in. It's 146 BPM. Before we do anything, I wanna break this down for you guys real quick. So uh, the reason the loop looks like this is because in the beginning I have 16 bars of the loop playing so people could get an idea with what it sounds like. And then, the, and then at the end, what I did when I was making this loop is I put each, I put each sound by itself and this is called stems. And the reason you want to do this is just so it gives the producer a lot more control. For example, say they didn't want this sound, they could just cut it out. But basically what you would do is when you see a loop like this, you cut it up like this. So you just cut it up on each bar or depending on how they split it in the loop. Boom, we're going to go like that. And then you just put each sound underneath one other. And I'm going to show you guys something super cool. Whenever there's a bass and there's the stems in here, what you could do is take this bass, hit Control Alt C on your keyboard, and this can consolidate it, basically making it a wave by itself. And once that's done, you can see that you have just the bass right here by itself. So you can right click on it, open an audio editor, click this little flag button, go to detect pitch regions. And it's going to tell you each pitch of the bass. So as you can see, it goes from, it goes E down to B, up to C, and then back to E. So it looks like we're in E minor, and we have an E minor triad, B minor triad, and C minor triad. And that just repeats itself. And the reason that's cool is because now we know exactly how the 808 is going to work. And basically what you want to do is track this bass out to your first mixer track, and then track the rest out to the next mixer track. Because when the bass is separate, you'll be able to add an EQ on the melodic parts. Go to the third preset, and you can just pull this around like 140 hertz. That'll pull all the low end out of the melody, so you can add your 808 without there being any clashing. And then let's just duplicate this over for eight bars, and then another another eight, so making it 16 total, and we'll take the bass out of that second part. And now let's actually listen to this loop. So basically, yeah, when I made this loop, all the sounds were in Serum. We started out with this, uh, some big like chord progression, EDM inspired chords. And then we have this sound. Just like a lead. That little arp right there. Yeah, so if you guys want me to actually break this down and show you guys how I actually made this loop, I'll do that tomorrow because I should be getting my new laptop in, which uh, I might make a video on that too. But hopefully I'll be able to actually record my screen and have a bunch of serum patches open. But anyways, let's loop this eight bars without the bass, bring this pattern one in and get some drums going. All right, cool. So for the most part, most of the drums I'm going to be using are going to be from my kit, which is available at quintababa.com. If you guys want to cop that, that'd be great. Just help support the channel and everything like that. But I think the first thing I'm going to start out with is a snare. And then something cool I notice is when you guys are going for like these, when you guys are going for like these hyper pop, like rage style beats, I like to either use a hi-hat that's kind of like, it has higher frequency. So something like this, 
or something just like your default hit one hi-hat where it just has a lot of energy to it. like that so we're just going to duplicate this over and as you can tell i'm kind of going for like more of a hard style drum here is that an open hat so yeah i mean at this point i think it's time for the 808 already i think we're just going to use like a zay style 808 and then make it super distorted so we're going to pull it in. I'm going to turn it all the way up. And then I'm going to bring this out knob up just a tad bit. And then we're able to distort it a lot more. Because as you can see, it's more of like a triangle pattern compared to where it was like flattened out. And then it would have a lower bottom end. That sounds good about right there. So now we're going to go to the piano roll. I believe it started at E. So yeah, I like that right there. So now we're going to go into the arrangement, which is super important and which is actually super important in beats like these. So we're just going to drag the drums out like this. And then we're going to start in the beginning. Just kind of try and think of something cool we could do here. like a bridge section right here and basically what i'm going to do is go to the melody part and we're going to add this plugin by waves called sound shifter and for that to load and we're just going to bring it down 12 semitones a whole octave we're going to create an automation clip and we're just going to automate this so that right at this point the melody goes down a whole octave I actually do that in the beginning too we'll just animate it and then I'm just going to have the snares in with no hi-hat and the 808. So it sounds like this. Cool, and that's perfect right there. So now we can just duplicate that over and that's the whole beat. We are done. All right, guys, so that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed the way the beat turned out. And if you did, if you guys can do me a favor, go down and hit that like button for me. But yeah, that's all I got for this one. My new laptop comes tomorrow, guys, so I'm excited. I think the videos are going to get a lot better. It's going to allow me a lot more creative freedom because I'll be able to actually show you guys like cookups and stuff like that. So yeah, and the stream should start again because I tried to start streaming, but I really couldn't just because of this MacBook not performing too well. But yeah, guys, that's it for the video. Make sure you check the description for any important links, but that's all I got for you guys right now. So I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.